Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's occasional series of YouTube tutorials. Today we'll be doing a first, a double first for that matter, a, a Excel and a statistical test. So, for those of you that know me, you know I <coughs> teach a bit of statistics and I'm quite a fan of Excel as well as MATLAB for that matter. So we have, we want to do a non-parametric uh, test, uh, which is the equivalent really of a t-test. Uh, uh, now we can't use the t-test sometimes because the data is not continuous and it, you know, the underlying data is not normally distributed so you, c you have to use a non-parametric test because you don't know what the mean is and you don't know what the standard deviation is. So uh, we have some, that's just a slight introduction there, rows 3 to 12 so I think we've done that and we have a little sample. So what we have here is we have a number of scores, exam scores, and students had stress and students did have stress. So for the sake of argument, students uh, with stress equal to 1 didn't have stress and with stress equal to 2 did have stress. So 1, no stress, 2, stress. We got the combined marks and we sorted them and we wanted to know was there a difference in averages in the median between no stress and stress. So when you look it up or when I did it in class you'd uh, what you have to do is you have to rank them. Now there is a rank formula in Excel there it is. Uh, so we're ranking C21 that's the first score in the block C21 to C42 comma 1 and that means it's ascending so 44 would be the first and uh, highest score would be number 22. Uh, just drag that down a sec. Sorry. Sorry. So there we are. For those of you new to Excel, uh, the dollars in front of the 21 the 42, when I drag that down, when I look at that cell in there, the C21 has become C22, but the C21 the C42 remains, and the comma 1, as I said before, it's ascending order, so 44 is number 1, or should that be descending, it all depends which way you want to look at. But the lowest mark, whichever you want to look, the lowest mark is 1, is ranked as first, and the highest mark down here is ranked number 22, whichever way you want to do the lowest, I suppose. Now there's a slight problem with this, uh, there are 392s here, and Excel ranks them as 18, when in reality there's 318, so on average they came 19th, so that's 17th, that's 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, so that's grand. So, is there a way around this? There is, there's, there's that in cell F17, there's a little correction, let's look at it there bit long unfortunately but it works okay I'm not going to go through it exactly character by character but it sorts out that problem underneath so we drag that down and there we are so those guys are uh, the 392s are 191919 and if you're still a little confused if we go up to here and say we make that 75 or 74 here they're ranked both rank six here, but with the correction, they're both ranked six and a half there. Uh, undo that 74 to 75 change, that's okay. So, the null hypothesis there is no difference between the medians, okay. The alternative hypothesis there is a difference. Uh, it's a two tailed test where we're assuming that it can be you know that median the two medians differ, it can be less than or, great than or greater than. And as usual, just about in every single test that is ever done in any research paper or any conference paper, we're testing a level of significance of 5%. So, to get this, we have to calculate uh, the man Whitney, and there are two U, U values, and we'll see later on we pick the lowest U. So, we have to get these N1 and two are the numbers and the, r the ones are the ranks assigned to group one and to group two and this is where Excel comes in and it's an excuse to use count if and sum if so we have to sum the ranks so what we'd like to do is we have the ranks here in column F and we want to sum the ranks for stress equals two and we want to sum the ranks for stress equal to one so how did I do that so sum if 
Okay, sum if something happens. And what am I summing? I'm summing. There's the range. Look up that range. Comma two. So in other words, what we're doing is find two in that range there. D21 to D42. And then add up the corresponding values in F21 to F42. F42. Yeah, so I've done that and I get 110. Now I want to do the same for stress equal to 1. Same formula again. Sum if sum if I look up D21 to D20 D42. What am I looking for in that? The 1s. And what am I to do then? Sum the corresponding values in F1 to F42. And I get 143. I just wanted to check that everything was okay because I wouldn't be too sure. So what I said there was, I summed the two ranks above. And then, just as a little check, I summed the ranks on their own. Just as a little internal check to make sure that I had done the sum if correctly. So they're the same. I then wanted to find out uh, the count. How many people had stress equal to 2. How many people had stress equal to 1. So here's our good friend count if. So I count it if something happens. So I'm counting the number of entries in D21 to D42 that have 2 as an entry. And for those of you that are new to Excel for some bizarre reason, which I'm not too sure of, the, the numerical value has to be put in quotes. You would think that would be normally text, but the way count if works, it isn't. You just put it up there. So we have found that there are 12 candidates that had stress equal to 2. And saying crack as before, D21 to D42, we did 1. And we found that there was 10 people. So stress equal to 2, 12 people. Stress equal to 1, 10 people. The man Whitney score, 110 and 143. The null hypothesis, mentioned that before. Okay, there is no difference. Alternative hypothesis, there is a difference. Excuse me. You have to calculate the two uh, U values, U1 and U2. The formula is living there in uh, G54 and G55. Excuse me. There we have it. So I've, you know, the formula is there. If we just go up a little bit, we're beginning to run out of, as the Americans would say, real estate. But I've just banged in N1 and N2. That's H5 and I35, just to see, can we get everything just not quite? Okay, so H and I, H35 and I35 are the counts. Same crack again in there, and minus R1, and R1 is the, uh, the rank for the ones, and the rank for the ones is uh, 143. Okay, uh, so that's the first score. There's the second score is 88. You pick the lowest, which is 32 in our case. Well, actually, it's kind of symmetrical about me. Right, but anyway, you pick the lowest of the two values from the tables provided by your lecturer or on the web or whatever it is. I wasn't going to just do a copy and paste of a table. The critical values are 29.91. Now, so 32 is greater than... 29 or another way of looking at it that 88 is less than 91 whichever way you want to look at it or well, whatever way you want to look at it uh, 32 is be 32 and 88 for that matter are between 29 and 91 so we're in the critical region we are within the acceptable region so our conclusion is the computer value 32 lies within the critical values and we have no reason to reject ho so in other words we think there is no reason to reject the conclusion that there is any difference in exam scores between the two sets of students. Thanks very much.